19. I don't know. Could be like a 94. Could be... It's got to be somewhere in the 90s. Uh, yeah, John Deere AMT 622. As I've said many times before, it's not a fucking gator. <laughs> so, hopefully I won't have to say that again. It's not a fucking gator. Um, I think these things had about a 10 year run. And they did overlap with actual gators. <laughs> which have two wheels in the front. And they aren't this. <laughs> they aren't AMTs. Um, all material transporter, I think is what it stands for. It's a, you know, kind of a riff on all-terrain cycle, which is ATC, which is Honda's brand name. And ATCs aren't any other trike either. That's only for Hondas. It's a, it's a model name. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I don't even know how many years ago at this point, but I got a Predator 13 horsepower for it that some dude had bought for a project and never used and he had it for like two or three years before I bought it from him so I got it for like I think a hundred bucks less than what a brand new one would cost or one from Harbor Freight and uh apparently I took the pull start off at some point so I should probably try to find that and got it on here the clutch is fucked it didn't move at all, we got it kind of moving, but everything about the internals of it, where it slides, doesn't work right. So that sucks, but it does actually work enough to use it. It just doesn't do what it's supposed to. The hydraulics still work for the dump bed, which is pretty cool. Though, I don't know if it's from us, but the, um, the back hits the metal seat support thing. So it's really hard to get it to do the initial lift up, so you have to kind of really help it when you got a lot of wood in there. Uh, I made some adapters for these big red wheels. I cut off golf cart rims because it's golf cart bowl pattern. I cut the center out and made it so I could sandwich it between the 250 or the 200 ES ring. Basically, I don't know. It's there. This was my earlier idea. And you know what, that doesn't work as good. <laughs> so I'm gonna make two more of these at some point. Uh, yeah, these tires go flat all the time. These wooly boogers seem to do pretty good, but definitely that's the kind of tire, that's the kind of tire you want on these things. The, the wooly booger, it's like a harder tire, it's not as tall, definitely doesn't take the bumps as good. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, it's it's like most three wheelers. You really want like the the balloon tire because that's your suspension and that's kind of everything. Suspension and awesome traction. Like these look like they have really great tread and all that, and they do. But these just conform to the ground. They're just like a really awesome glove. It's just really good at like grabbing the ground. Uh, carb needs to be cleaned again. It definitely needs chains. Needs a clutch, but uh, it works. I've been, I've definitely brought a lot of wood out of the woods with it so far. Put a tube in the front tire. It's fucking awesome. That thing used to always go flat. Pretty freaking happy. I mean, it's it's really just like about time. <laughs> Way too long, but will it start?
so yeah, I need to get everything connected to the main key. And I need to get an electric fuel pump on it or find a way to get a pulse pump hooked up to this engine. Which I think requires me to drill a hole somewhere in the black. I'm a little worried to do that. Oh, my phone fell off. That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's this thing. This wood is from Bill Up on the Hill. I'm going to put the smaller branches in the burn pile. I'm going to save a couple for building more wood. More firewood structure. Uh, this thing's still doing awesome. I had to send it in for warranty ship because the bar studs stripped out. So they replaced like the entire case pretty much. And I've got a pulling bar on it, which has wider teeth, which is not so good for the motor and the battery, but it's a lot less flimsy, which is nice. So in the old Toyota T100 with the dusty dashboard, we're at 254 now. Got this sucker at 188, I think, in 2014. So I'm pretty sure this is like, it's got to be by far the longest road vehicle I've had. I actually did do a head gasket, maybe 10,000 miles ago. I'm assuming it's my fault because there's been so many nights and days where I've been drifting out in the field. You know, I just come out the next day and I see like long drift marks going down the entire field. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, that was a lot of RPM. So it's done that a lot with its 150 horsepower, 2.7 full-size truck. Fucking awesome. Got these pallets from uh, some kind of HVAC thing. But <laughs> they're like 2x8s or 2x10s. <laughs> it's They're crazy. It's basically like a super heavy-duty floor for a potential shed. Brian built a hunting blind over there. It's pretty cool looking. Got old Young Brother's house farm on its third owner now. Since well, second owner since Young Brother. He bought it in the 70s. And he was a crazy, maybe not the greatest dude. After Young Brother first sold it, we like kind of walked around through the house. We found all these papers and shit that were that he had left behind when he moved. He was like pretty out of his mind when he moved. He had a woman taking care of him. And yeah, on the papers there was fucking like swastikas and shit and like there was like a phone number that said it was for a lawyer and it underneath it it said Jew really big, so pretty big racist piece of shit. Um Maybe like seven years before he moved, he he was crazy and he wasn't taking his medicine. And apparently he had been like walking down the street at night. The house is over there. And halfway through the week, his caretaker, woman, girlfriend found him up by the road, just laying on the ground up there, halfway to my house. And then by the end of the week, he fucking busted in my window with an exhaust pipe and the, the, the glass around the door trying to get in and he cut himself trying to reach in to unlock it and my grandmother was home, I wasn't here at first she thought it was me just knocking on the door because I forgot my key and the little little dog was like barking like crazy and then I guess she walked out and saw glass fly into the room and she's like oh my god and she just like ran into her room and like tried to barricade the door 
and luckily when he cut himself, I guess he's like, oh, okay, I don't want to do this, and they walked away. And the cops, she called the cops, the cops came, and then it was probably like 40 minutes later, he came walking out of the bushes by the road, and he was bleeding, and they were like, how did you cut yourself? <laughs> and he was like, I cut it on the glass on the door. <laughs> and they were like, do you know who lives here? And they said, yeah, Barbara, which is my mom. And at that point, she didn't live there because we had gotten her kicked out because she was a crazy, abusive alcoholic. But yeah, so then they, they took him to a psychiatric place for a week or two. And he never did anything like that again. And we, me and Brian, who lives there, we actually ended up doing this roof for him because, like, we used to ride on his property and Brian used to hunt on his property so it was kind of like we did his roof for free he just paid for the material and yeah that's that was just a crazy thing but my grandmother had a heart attack the next day almost certainly from all the stress of you know somebody trying to bash their way into her, her home but yeah that was that was pretty crazy but now sane people own it who probably aren't racist, <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Not a danger to us. But I don't think they like us. I think they might have seen us riding on their property one day on the safari truck filled with people, and then we, we actually drove into the creek, and they probably didn't like that. So there's a lot of, a lot of things up in the woods now saying basically don't come back here, which... We have been doing, not not going back there. But it really sucks because it used to be so great to ride all the way back up there and then all the way up to Bill's house. And actually, it might even be further up to Bill's house, but I really miss that. We don't see Bill as much. Um, yeah, it's not, not good. 